Welcome back with another grafting tutorial of Naim Agro Garden. Yes, we are going to see the propagation process of a very delicious fruit tree, which is lychee. We will do the air layer as it has the highest success rate for lychee. So, for today's grafting we will need polythene of such size, few ropes, and, most importantly, garden soil. First of all, we will select a branch like this which has at least one inch of diameter. The branch should not be too young or old. After selecting the branch, we'll remove the unwanted branches and leaves. Now we'll cut and remove one to two inches of bark just below the joint. Remember to rub and destroy the slippery coating of the wood with a knife so that the bark does not grow again. Let's see a few more of this quickly. We've prepared the branches. Now it's time to set the soil. While placing the soil, we have to remember one important thing. The roots will come from the bark, not from the wood. So we have to keep this joint in the middle of the soil, even if the lower part is not fully covered. Let's do it. The soil should be applied with light pressure, and it shouldn't be too loose. Now wrap it like this with polythene carefully. After wrapping, we'll tie it tightly with ropes so that the moisture inside does not dry out. It'll also protect the soil from unwanted rainwater. After tiring both sides with a rope, I will tie them together in the middle. the soil to stick with the branch. We have tied a few more like this. Now we just have to wait for a few weeks. See the roots coming. Rooting may take one to two months, depending on the perfection, quality, and climate. In dry weather, you may need to push water from outside. It'll balance the moisture of the soil and prevent the newly grown roots from dying out. I usually use a syringe and it's easy to use. In this way, I will soak all of them with water. Two months after grafting, these are heavily rooted and few of them have turned brown. Instead of cutting it once, it's better to cut the branch partially with an interval of two to three days. This method can improve the survival rate. So, we can now separate the branch from the main tree. After separating from the main tree, we have to remove the extra parts from the bottom. To reduce the demand for food, we'll also remove the unwanted branches and leaves after separating the rooted branches. Use a sharp knife instead of pulling by hand. Now remove the polythene carefully.
Make sure that the roots are not damaged. Now it's time to transfer this rooted branch into a new growing media. Here we have the soil ready. No chemical fertilizer should be mixed in the soil. I will place the rooted area in the middle of the poly bag and cover it with soil. Make sure the poly bag pot has a proper water drainage system. Now I will soak the whole soil with water and keep this in the shed. You must ensure that these newly transferred plants don't get into direct contact with sunlight. After keeping like this for one to two weeks, new leaves have grown on the new plants. We have to keep them in the shade like this for a few more weeks. Then the leaves of the plants will turn dark green and they will be ready to transfer to semi-shed. Let's quickly recall some very important points. Branch quality. At least zero one inch in diameter, not too young, not too old. After removing the bark, Rub and destroy the slippery coating of the wood. The roots will grow from the bark above the top cut, so it must be kept in the middle of the soil. After rooting, we have to maintain the moisture level of the soil. Separate the branch step by step instead of cutting it in one day. After separating, remove the unwanted branches and leaves. Seedlings must be placed in a shaded area with a good airflow. Thanks for being with us. If you find the video helpful, don't forget to share it with your gardener friends.